So here we go. So I have 5 divided by tangent of x plus secant of x. And what I want to do is I want to rewrite this um, as not in fractional form. So I need to get the tangent of x plus secant of x off the bottom. And the best way I can kind of look at this is, you know, what do we do when we wanted to get the square root off the bottom? Or let's say we wanted to get an imaginary number off the bottom. What we did is when we looked at them when they're in binomial form, what we had to do to get them off the bottom is we'd multiply what we called the conjugate. And the reason why we multiplied by the conjugate is because what we noticed was a binomial multiplied by its conjugate it was able to get rid of our square root of 3 or our, um, our i. And what it did is, you know, it multiplied, it got it squared. The square root of something squared eliminates the square root. i squared gives us negative 1, so we can get rid of it. Well, there, I don't really know how you're going to think about, you know, getting rid of, you know, a tangent or a secant. But what I'll notice is when I multiply by the, when I multiply by the um, conjugate, one thing is going to happen. One thing, when I multiply by the conjugate, remember, all we need to do is really multiply our first term and our last term because our middle terms are going to cancel out. That's why I wouldn't want to multiply by tangent squared plus secant squared because then I'm going to have that middle term, which would be 2 tangent, um, two tangent of x secant of x. So you're going to want to multiply by the conjugate, which is only going to leave you with a squared first term and a squared last term and the difference between the two. So let's go and do that and see how that might help us out. All right. So we're going to multiply by the conjugate, which would be tangent of x minus secant of x. And you've got to make sure you multiply whatever you multiply on the bottom. You have to make sure you multiply on the top to keep um, proportional fractions or similar fractions. So therefore, now on the numerator, I can um, distribute my 5 through. So I have 5 tangent of x. Actually, in the, let's leave that outside for right now. So I'll just have 5 times tangent of x minus secant of x. Then, as my denominator, I'm going to do tangent of x plus secant of x. Remember, that's the difference of two squares. Therefore, that's going to leave me with tangent squared of x plus secant squared of x. And that's just understanding the difference of two squares, which hopefully you guys remember. If you have a plus b times a minus b, that's going to give you a squared minus b squared. So really, I didn't need to work on FOIL or any other kind of multiplication to get this through. All right, so why would you, oh, I'm sorry. That's a minus, isn't it? So now when looking at my difference of two squares, how is this going to really help me simplify? Well, by using my Pythagorean identity, <laughs> we really need to make sure we know these identities. We know that I have 1 plus tangent squared um, of x is equal to secant of x. Therefore, now to kind of simplify this, I can rewrite the secant squared of x in for 1 plus tangent squared of x. And actually. Let's, re, let's do this a different way. Let's represent tangent, because the reason why I don't want to plug in for tangent, because then I'm going to have a negative 1, and I'm going to have to distribute that through. So I mean, it's not a big deal, but as far as me showing my work, it's just going to add some extra steps. And on the whiteboard, I only have so much space. So rather than representing um, 1 plus tangent squared in for secant, let's represent tangent squared equals secant squared of x minus 1. So keeping the numerator the same, I have tangent of x minus secant of x. And I'm not distributing that 3 yet because I just don't know if it's going to help me out or not. Um, see what I can do. Therefore, I'm now going to rewrite uh, my tangent squared as secant squared of x minus 1 minus secant uh, squared of x. So therefore, you notice I have secant squared of x minus secant squared of x. So those are going to subtract out to 0. And therefore, I'm just going to be left with a negative 1 um, negative 1, or 5 times tangent of x minus secant of x divided by negative 1. So therefore, by distributing my 5, I'll have a negative 5 tangent of x plus 5 secant of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now I've written the problem in non-fractional form. Thanks.